Welcome back to the FOM 11 introductory assignment walkthrough. This is the last or fifth session and we're talking polynomials. Let's get going. So what's a polynomial? A poly, poly is many and nomial is like terms. So let's take for example the x by itself. This is just one term all by itself. So this is going to be a monomial. A mono meaning one. We have an x squared, which is an x times x. If they're multiplied, they stay as the same type of term. So this also is a monomial. The 3 is multiplied by x, which is multiplied to another x. So these are all multiplied or divided. So it also counts as a monomial. And same with this one. 3 times x times x times y. And because they're all multiplied or divided, this all are monomials. If we look at this one, we've got two different terms. And you might think this is a binomial or two terms, but we see that the x squared y, and this is also an x squared y, so it's like saying we got three of this type of apple and three, two of this type of apple, the same type of apple, so we can combine those to five x squared y's, which is again a monomial, so it joins this group here. These ones, on the other hand, you can't compare the two. So we have an x squared or a 4x squared on this one and here we don't have any x's. So you can't say that this is an orange and a banana. Um, you can't combine them at all at this point. So this is indeed one term and then one term. So this is a binomial. Let's look at this one. We have an x. We have an x squared in there and an x cubed. So we can't combine terms. We can't combine these because they're totally different things. This is going to be a trinomial. All right, and look at this one. We have an x squared and x and just a number. The number counts as a certain term, so this is going to be a trinomial. Uh, we got an x squared, an x cubed, an x squared, an x and a number without, or it's like an x to the zero, but we don't really care about that. Um, but this is one, two, three, four, five, and at some point we're just going to call this a polynomial. And this one, we have an x squared y and x y squared, so again the x it, X and Y's are different, so we can't combine these. We have an XY, which is totally different, but we have an X squared Y. Oh, we can combine this one and this one. So that, that's going to be 7X squared Y plus 4XY squared plus 3XY. We have 1, 2, 3, so this is going to be a trinomial. All right, let's keep going here. Okay, so we can classify polynomials. What else can we do with them? Well, we can substitute values into them. So here's a sample question. What is Y when X is 5? So what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the X's in here. We're going to substitute 5 into those spots. So let me just rewrite this. Y is equal to, and I'm going to put it in brackets, 5 squared minus, and then again, a 5. And then you're going to simply use bed mass and figure it out. Um, we're going to do the exponents first, so that's going to be 25 minus 5. So y is 20. Here's another example. What's the following polynomial equal to when x is negative 2 and y is 3? So again, I'm just going to rewrite this and crunch the numbers. Negative 3 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times 3 minus 4. Negative 2 squared, we're going to do the exponents first because of bed mass, of course. I'm just going to write that here. Negative 2 squared is going to be 4. 5 times 3 is 15 minus 4. This is negative 12 plus 15, so we're at plus 3 minus 4 is minus 1. One more example here. Um, we're using x is minus 2 and y is 3 again, so let's rewrite this as 2 times 3. And in big brackets, 10 minus negative 2 squared oh, yeah. all over 5. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be 6 times 10 minus negative 2 squared is 4. And we could leave that in brackets, but we don't need that anymore because we know we're going to subtract 4. All over 5 is equal to 6 times 6 fifths. So this could be 36 over 5. Kind of a hairy one, but you get the point. Okay, so the next one that we want to look at is um, when we have something multiplied to like a binomial inside of brackets. And I just, I know this is review, but I really want to make sure that you guys understand this. When we have three times and inside the brackets 2x plus 1, we're multiplying three times the first term, and we're also multiplying three times the second term. And you have to do this. I often will draw these arrows. You'll see this in my marking this year, throughout this year, is that I'm going to draw the arrows if I'm showing you an example. 
And this way, I get a visual clue to say 3 times 2x. So I'm going to multiply the numbers. So that's going to give me that. And I have an x in there still. And then 3 times plus 1, which is, there we go. So this is 6x plus 3. I've given you an easy one. Let's go on to a bit more tricky one here. So we have 2x times, in brackets, 4x plus 5, plus 3x times, in brackets, x minus 3. So I'm going to take this term here, and I'm going to draw my little arrows to mul remind myself to multiply it both through. And here, and remind, I'm just going to give you a clue. I'm going to take the, the sign as well, but um, I'll show you that in the next example. And I'm going to multiply it through. All right, so this one, 2x times 4x. 2 times 4 is 8, and x times x is x squared. 2 times 5 is 10, and there's just one x in there. So this is done now, and I'm moving on to here. 3x times x is 3, and then x times x is x squared. And 3x minus 3 is negative 9x. And now at this point, I can simplify. I have like terms. I'm going to group my like terms. So I have 8x squareds and th positive 3x squareds, so I have 11x squareds. And here I have 10 x's and negative 9 x's, so I have plus 1 x. Plus 1 x, or I can just write it as plus x. And there is my answer. A very similar example here. I'm going to take this 4 x and multiply it through both these things inside the brackets. And I'm going to take the negative 2, not just the 2. It just makes it way easier if you take the negative 2 as well, and I'm going to multiply it through. So 4x times 3 is 12x. 4x times negative 1x is negative 4x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Now I'm going to group the like terms. I'm going to start with that, negative 4x squared. OK, I have 12x is negative 2x. So 12 minus 2 is 10. we are still got more positives, so that's going to be 10x. And the last term is minus 10. All right, and this last one, don't let it freak you out. Um, this will still work the exact same. This one, there's a bunch of things in brackets minus a bunch of things in brackets. We have to, we don't have anything in front of here. We have like a 1 times this. So we don't have to do anything to these first brackets, but we're subtracting the 2x squared, and we're also subtracting the negative 3x, and we're also subtracting the positive 2. So let's multiply, like this is a negative 1, through to get rid of the brackets. So this is 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. We have negative 2x squared now. We have negative times the negative is a positive 3x, and we have negative 1 times Positive 2 is, gives us a negative 2. And now we can combine. So we have 4x squareds and negative 2x squareds, so this will leave us with positive 2x squareds. We have a 7x and a 3x. Well, that's easy because they're both positive, so we have 10x's. And negative 2, and we're going to also have another negative 2, so it's negative 4. And that's going to be the answer. The last thing I want to go through in this walkthrough is when you have a bracket with a couple terms multiply to another bracket with a couple of terms in it. And one of the easiest ways to do this, there's a number of ways to do this, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, last. Okay, so what does this mean? We're going to take the first term of this and the first term of this. This is the first. So 2x times 3x, 2 times 3 is 6, and x times x is x squared. Then we're going to do the outside. And it'll be 2x times 5, so 2 times 5 is positive 10x's. We're going to do the inside, so it's negative 2, don't forget the negative in there. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x's. And the last is negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. And with these, what you're going to find is the outside and the inside um, are going to be like terms, so you can combine them. So I have 6x squared here. I have 10x minus 6x, so it gives me positive 4x, and a negative 10. And the last one that I'm going to do here is, again, another FOIL. So the first is x times negative 4x, so it's negative 4x squared. And the outside is going to be the, the outside one, so 2x times negative 2, which is negative 2x. I can do the inside. 
it's 5 times negative 4x, which is going to be negative 20x. And the last, which is 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10. Again, the x squareds, there's no more x squareds, so we can just write that as negative 4x squareds. There is negative 2x's and negative 20x's, which gives us negative 22x's. There we go. At this point, you should have enough the tutorials to complete the first assignment. I really want you to try to do this in a month. I think it's totally reasonable. I think that the combined um, length of all of these videos is about an hour. And so you should put another hour in, two hours in, in a month isn't too much to ask. And if you're having troubles, please email me and I do have more help videos on some of these. But I think that you should be able to manage. But don't hand in a question that's blank. Ask, reach out, email me, and we'll make sure that you understand. Because understanding is more important than getting it perfect for me. All right. Thanks and good luck. We'll see you in the course.